Hey everyone, it's your boy KP here from the No Justice, No Peace Report. Hope everything is okay with you. Um, thanks for supporting. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know when I've posted something. Um, I, I don't know if you how long you've been watching me on this channel, but as you know, I don't get involved in terms of I support this politician versus this politician or versus that politician or this party versus that party. I am for justice, fairness, equity, and uh, what is right. And, um, you know, that's what I try to, that's the message I try to push across on this channel. If you perhaps have picked up something else, my apologies. Um, that's not what is meant, right? I just want to, I'm about, I'm a human, I'm, I'm for the human family, right? I think that people ought to be treated uh right and good simply for being who they are um sorry for all that rambling there uh i just wanted to sort of preface what i was saying um before i actually um you know deal with the subject at hand joe biden student loan now i looked at an article here right where joe biden pretty much flat out said that he will not forgive fifty thousand dollars in debt now, this was something that he was talking about during his campaign. Bad acting. He's a Democrat. So I try to be fair. I'm not just a Republican, Republican. You're bad, bad, bad. And Democrats, Democrats, you're good, good, good. Joe Biden wanted to be president, made all types of promises. And we know that, we, you know, for the most part, you knew a better person than Donald Trump to some degree. But when it comes to policies, right, um, most of the times, Democrats and Republicans agree with each other. Forgive the loans, Joe. Just forgive the loans. You know, we're in a pandemic. Um, people are suffering. People are struggling. You know, he won't forgive $50,000. You know, I, I think the debt is like, in terms of people owing student loans, is like one trillion or something like that. You know, you you spend a lot of time in the workforce trying to pay off a debt rather than, you know, trying to come up in life with um, the new job and that new career that you're in. So, yeah, he said that, um, you know, he, he's the, the news article said that he's facing backlash um, for rejecting proposal to cancel $50,000, right? During a CNN a town hall, it depends on whether or not you go to a public university or a private university. That's what Joe Biden said. The president said he doesn't want to forgive the debts for people who attend elite schools such as Harvard and Yale who often go on to make high salaries and added that he would instead prioritize childhood education for disadvantaged communities. That's dishonest. It's unfair. I don't care if you forgive the debts of rich people, whatever. They're rich. They can, they can, they're going to deal with it anyways. We're talking about the forgiveness of debts when it comes to those who are struggling. People are, are, you know, in their 30s, 40s, and they're still trying to pay off loans. Do the right thing, Joe Biden. Do the right thing. Poor people need this. Struggling people, struggling families need this. People have made tremendous sacrifices to go to school. Granted, I'm not an American, but I can speak on this from the perspective of a Canadian because I took out student loans. I had to, you know, I didn't have the, the, the financial support from my family, right? But I, I, so I had to deal with OSAP. We call it OSAP in Canada. And it took me a long time to pay it off, plus the interest and all these different things. If I didn't have that loan, I would have been a lot further financially. So he needs to do the right thing and stop playing games. This is polit politics here. We don't know what is going on behind the scenes, but his backers and maybe in some individuals in his party as well, but you know, the, 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 the companies that are involved with this whole student loan bid and um you know they should be ashamed of themselves but this you know greed is driving this thing and joe biden you know you need to ride this wave of you know you, you know this unifier and um, the one who's gonna try and make things better and all that sort of stuff huge firestorm and he deserves it he deserves it every attack you should get this is right this is just this is fear forgive the loans i don't know how much more i can say it forgive those loans joe that's what you need to do. Don't talk about it anymore. Just sign. Use that executive order, whatever you have to do. Go ahead and forgive those loans, right? 
And, and let me also say this. Here is another situation where these politicians, because they're in power now, he has the Senate and he has the, um, the House. So he has the power to do it, whichever way you look at it, right? Um, when the Democrats fool around and do things like this, you then send the swing of power back in the other direction. This is how you get it. Because when Democrats have the opportunity to do some good, they show that they pretty much identify and align with the Republicans. So sometimes these politicians, they do not differ from each other. These parties do not differ from each other in terms of policies and how they go about doing things, right? Do the right thing, Joe Biden. Do the right thing. Forgive the loans. Forgive them. $50,000. Go with that, right? So what if some rich people benefit? Whatever. We'll take the forgiveness anyways. It's your boy KP. Thanks for subscribing. Check the description box. Stay woke and stay red.